guys, and welcome to in, um, another episode of the MTA Scripting School. In today's episode, we are going to talk about loops, loopings, and that's basically everything we're going to do in this episode. So this will be a quite a short episode, but it's, it's okay. So, um, to start off, open your client site. Um, script which will be c underscore object dot lua for me and loops are the most useful thing well one of the most useful things in programming because with them you could um, do like something um, when someone types in slash spam in the chat then you could just spam the chat and we are going to do exactly that today with quite a few different loops, there are I think 4 or 5, I didn't count them, different loop types and we are going to look at the most common used ones today. First of all we're going to need a new command handler, we're going to call it spam and we're going to bind it to the function spam chat. Now we create our function spam chat with no arguments needed. Oh, you know what, we're going to take one argument, first of all the name and now one argument which will be the loop argument. So the player can input slash spam 10 to spam the chat with 10 messages. Okay now first of all we have our loop which will be as, as an example the loop will be 10 and now we could do the, one of my favorite loops which would be the for loop. The for loop is very easy. For, um, we start with for, very easy. Then um, our variable name, I will call it i for inherit, uh, equals zero. You don't have to make that equals zero, you could also type equals many, like this, it would also work. Basically, this line is the same as this. These two lines are the same. We could now also write this. That would also work, but we're not going to do that like that right now. Um, we're typing for e equals zero, comma, and now on the second argument after the first comma, on the first comma we define the ra variable. On on the second, well, not on the second line, but after the first comma, we are going to write how many times it should loop. Like not, well, not how many times, but till what number, sh um, when I reached what number, and the number is defined by the thing after the first comma. So we will type in loop. And now on the um, third, after the second comma, we need the step sequence. So how many times uh, should I go with our variable i, this one here, uh, should it go like one per loop or two up per loop or two down per loop? And on our uh, um, as, uh, sorry, um, on our example, we're going to loop it um, make the variable go up once each time we loop through um, every, and every time we loop. So as an example uh, we could now type in output chat box i and now if we go on our server start our hello world resource and type slash spam after the script downloaded uh, slash spam well nothing will happen because I did uh, for limit must be a number, yes, uh, for uh, spam 10, and now it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And as if we would put 2 on this line here, then, uh, do I have a bind for this? No. Um, restart hello world, and now slash spam 10, now it goes two, uh, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So after each loop it will go up by 2 now. What if we would want it to do uh, to go in the negatives? Like do my um, we do minus loop and minus ten or minus two, 
That's basically everything. I put a minus before the loop because I want the loop value to be uh, in the negatives because I'm going down now each time the loop goes, um, go, it's, uh, it's repeating. So if we now restart our hello world resource, now type slash spam, uh, slash spam 10, you would see it goes to minus 10 and it um, each time the loop loops it goes down by minus 2. That is the first type of loop. It's as easy as that. And it's the most common used. At least for me. Put a multi-line comment there. And now, the second loop is the while loop. Um, local looped equals zero. While looped is um, shorter than 10. I am not sure if it was like this in Lua. But I hope it was like this because I did not use the while that do loop in quite a long time. Yep. So while our variable, and then we could do like bigger ten, lower ten, the same as ten, or just like looped. Um, while looped is shorter, um, smaller than loop. Do that. Or while looped is bigger than loop, do that. Let's put loop to 20 and output our looped in the chat each time we loop through the, um, through the loop. One f important thing to know is on a wire loop the variable for us that would be looped does not go down automatically. We have to write the following looped equals looped and then our step sequence, like minus 2. Now let's try that. Restart, hello world, slash spam 10. And as we can see, we have um, uh, da -da -da -da, 11 uh, while looped is bigger than loop. Uh, let's try to number loop. Let's see if that will work because I think I've got an um, arrow. That should happen, but I think it happened because of. Yeah, okay. That, had, that just happened because um, when we input a comment, um, an argument as um, on our command handler, then on our function it will be a string and nothing else. It cannot be a bool or a number, you just have to type in two number and then we're our loop variable, our argument. Now, um, as you can see, we have 20, 18, 16, 14, 12, but not 10. And that is because, as you can see, while the looped is, well, 20 is bigger than the um, two number loop, like bigger than 10. Let's just write 10 right here. Then do output chat box looped, and looped equals loop minus 2. So it goes not to 10 because when we are on the 12 loop thingy, which outputs 12 here, it goes minus 2 and then loop is not any more bigger than 10. Next up, we are going to take a look at the repeat while loop. And I've never really used that one, but um, it's basically the opposite of do while. A uh, while do. Uh, let's say while. Looped smaller than 10. Uh, do exactly that. Uh, let's see if I did everything uh, everything right because I personally do not use that loop. No, I did not. I did, I did, I did do wrong. Um, maybe it belongs an end right here. Maybe, maybe. I do not know. No, it does not belong there. We are just going to take a quick look. Let's see. Repeat chunk until. Yeah, it was until. Fuck me in my life. I'm sorry for needing to look at that because I never use this uh, repeat until loop. At least I did not need to use them anymore uh, till now. Now we write slash spam. We can see it does exactly the same as do while, but it goes to the 10. So it's basically the same as a for each loop, uh, for a loop, but it's just. Let's say a number alternative. I think there's no real big difference besides on performance in the loops. 
But yeah, um, these are the three types of loops. Yeah, take a look at them. At them. Let's take that. Put it like this, and here we go. So each of these loops do, does basically the same, but one loop is saying, Nope, I am not like the other two loops. Because fuck you. Let's just make them. Here we go. Now, um, listen, guys, following um, each loop right here, these two loops are the ones you probably will not use that often. Uh, most likely you will use this loop, so try to get that thing in your head. Um, for the variable, comma, um, what number should the variable go to, comma, and then the step sequence like minus two or plus two, just as easy as that. Um, but there's one more thing. Uh, one little thing we can do also with the for loop, and for that we are going to create a table. And our table will have 0, 10, and 30. And now we can do for e, comma, v in i pairs table. Let's call it table with double e. Do and and we are going to output in chat something. Output chat box i then manipulate the string. And now I give you time to guess what this will do. I'm just going to remove these two bad boys and this one right here. Now guys, can you guess what will happen if I start the script now? Let's see it. Let's, let's see what will happen. And slash spam. 1 equals 0, 2 equals 10 and 3 equals 30. The first value of the table equals 0, the second one equals 10, and the third one equals 30. For now, you may think that shit has no use. But guys, it's fucking useful because... Let's say we have players in these, um, in this table, like we have Paul, we have Tom, and we have Admin. Now, how could we find out uh, what number does our admin have? We could just do something like if for uh, this v equals and now admin, and then then we could do our admin stuff like kick player Paul. That will not work. This will not work. Just said, but you could do something like that with the for e. Um, where the e is the, let's say, loop number again, the loop variable, and the second one is the um, thing that is in the table. Now, we could do, we could now put admin is, and then i, uh, let's go in game, restart, hello world, slash spam, and now we see admin is free. And now we could do um, admin and small, another guy and another guy, which is also called Ad, who is also called admin because of reasons. And now we can do slash spam, and now we see we have an admin in slot three and an admin in slot six. So that is that we, you can use that on so many different things. Like, or you have a table with many, 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 many um, objects. And if you want to make five of these objects invisible, but do not know their name or something, then you can just loop through the table with all the objects and find out if the objects have a specific I um, ID. Like if you want, if you're if you're doing a map or something on like race or or you're just doing an RPG map, if you want to have like let's say five invisible walls. But you want to see the invisible walls in the editor, then you just have to do the following to loop through every object. Local objects equals get elements by id. No, 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 not id, not id. Um, 
by type. There we go. Now object. And now this is a table with all objects of your map inside of it. And now we can loop through the table by typing for i, comma, obj, comma, uh, no, not comma, in i pairs objects do. And now we could do something like if get element model uh, object equals um, 1337 do and then destroy element object. Now this um, script will remove every bin in your map. Just these few lines would remove every bin as soon as your map starts. And you see, this is quite a powerful loop. You can do so much stuff with it. And it it's just an awesome loop. I recommend using it because, well, you will have to use it anyways. Um, that was it for this episode. If you have any questions, just write to me on Skype. Just randomly add me. Talk to me. Um, or write a YouTube uh, comment on YouTube. Write a comment on the FFS forum, send me a personal message on the FFS forum if you have any questions. But only if you have any questions or something, or if you want to say something to me. Just do that, if you want to ask me something, do that, if you want to talk to me for some other reason, talk to me, at me, do stuff like me. <laughs> no. Um, that's it for this episode now, but before... I will end this episode, I will have to tell you guys one more thing. On the next episode we are going to start to make um, our deathmatch mode, you know, wait, let's see, let's, do I have a deathmatch mode installed? I think I have one, yeah, deathmatch start uh, to make this mode a bit more interesting. Like, as you can see, um, this is the normal deathmatch mode and we are going to edit this deathmatch mode a bit. And we're going to... Um, yeah, we're just going to add some random things. Um, I don't, I don't know what we're gonna add now. But I will, I will tell you later what we're gonna add. I never played this deathmatch thingy. Um, we're gonna add like something like a shop to buy weapons. Um, we are gonna add. Uh, let's see, we're going to add mm, different stuff. You will see. Um, the next episode will be out in a few days. I hope. I'm trying to upload at least one episode each week, but it's kind of hard with school and stuff, but it's okay. I have enough time. Now, I think that's it for this episode. As said, any questions, just tell me, write to me on Skype or somewhere where you know me. Uh, yeah, I guess that's everything now. It's always so hard saying bye to you guys because you guys are so awesome, but... I will have to go now. Bye bye.